there and welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm going to be building a stealth tank to track around on the new Christmas Island. That is just an added my Christmas. And I think it's going to be really fun to build a tank and drive it around. This is going to be a pretty cool build, I think. I haven't really built a tank before, so this is going to be a fun learning curve. Just try to figure out all the tank steering and that. Never done a tank setup. So. I think I should just stop talking, and let's get into it. Okay, so just like in my last video, we're going to start off with the same kind of um, system. So first we're going to start with the wheels, and get the general like width of the tank working. And then I'm going to start building up the frame and different types of details to finish off the tank. So, first I'm going to start with the wheels. As I just said, um, I think I'm going to use this. I don't want this tank to be too big. I want it to be big enough that it's going to be pretty strong if I run into anything or get in a big battle. But it doesn't have to be too big because I don't want this thing to be extremely slow. <laughs> so I think that should be good for the start of the tank. And now I'm going to add the side of the tank. So I want the actual tank to sit up above the wheels. So I think I'm just going to build up the tank here. Maybe have this a little shorter. Um, now that I'm looking at how big this is going to be, I think I might want to have a few extra wheels. Maybe have three there instead of two and this is pretty good okay i have a reference image here and i can see that the tank has a slope here kind of leading into the treads so i think i'm gonna start off with that that should be pretty good and then tank has kind of got like a hanging bit over here so it's got like the uh, shields over the wheels so I think I'm just gonna build that out I do not want the complexity limit to be too high on this I want it to be uh, pretty low actually just sorry there just had a little interruption, but as I was saying, uh, I don't want the complexity limit to be too high because I want some room for some uh, reiteration to the tank, especially with some of the um, some of the shields and different armor, maybe even the shape of the tank. So I think this is going to be pretty good right now. I'm very happy with this so far. I think it's going pretty well. And the tank should work pretty well too. I'm going to just put the rotating servo because I want the uh, top of the tank to be able to turn. So I don't think I have a definite middle here. Unless I. What is going on here? I'm very. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that should be good. That right there works. So now I'm just gonna copy the armor to the other side. Shape of the tank's looking great right now. I think I'm gonna finish up the body of the tank off camera and then I'll come back and I'll build the uh, top bit. So I think I'll, I'll see you then. Hello there. I have returned with a kind of finished tank body kind of thing. So um what I'll show you right now. So I have some hinges that are creating different shapes for the front of the tank here. I have two slopes and I have these upside down wedges that are uh, being being angled down so they um, become like a angle down. I'm actually sh was that a good idea to do that or no? No, I'm just going to keep doing this. So I am going to use the same kind of seat thing uh, for the top 
top control bit, as I did with my uh, last video's snowmobile. And I think now I just have to build around this. I do want to have this up in the air so I can put it over here, so I can have thing bits hanging over without touching uh, this and connecting to it. So, oh, I think that I'm just gonna grab a piston and connect that there. So now I can just build the uh, control control center a bit up top and not have to worry about connecting to the bottom. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is build out where the the, the gun is gonna go. I do wanna actually I'm going to do some cool piston mechanics things to get the gun centered. So I'm going to do this and then Huh, how's this gonna work? I'll just do this and then have a connection. Okay, so I'm not sure what. I'm just gonna build out the gun now with some pipes. It's gonna be really long. That should be good. Actually, that looks pretty good. I'm not sure if I want to make this a bit smaller too when it goes farther. I think that looks good too. Oh, can I? I better. Yeah, good. <laughs> okay, so I really, I usually make the start position 0.50. Oh no. 0.50. There we go. And I just remove the controls. And turn up the speed all, all no actually. Gotta turn the speed to zero, because it doesn't have any effect on how the tank moves. And I especially do that on my aircraft because when they're flying up in the air they spin around and it makes it really hard to control. So start position is gonna be zero in here. And then I'm gonna add a one second delay. And yeah, no controls, just make sure even though it doesn't show it there, it sometimes has controls in it still. Uh, speed, zero, and then, okay, gotta go lower than that, point 30 should be good, ooh, gotta go even lower, we'll go, we'll half this, we'll go point 15. Ooh, a little bit higher. Maybe we'll do like point seventeen. Point seventeen. Okay, this is gonna magically work. Okay, I promise you. Yes. Okay, that's centered. Okay, amazing. So now I'm just gonna show you this. This is gonna be lowered down. That should be pretty good. I actually really like that right now. So, now I just have to build out the actual tank control center bit here. I want, I'm looking at an image and control center goes like back. I'm not even sure if it's called the control center. Please let me know in the comments what it's actually called because I have no idea. Um... Yeah, so it goes out like, like a one, no, yeah, like one block is about how much it goes out. If it were to be in a Trailmaker's tank. <laughs> now. Ooh, that looks good. So now, I'm going to get some cool designs. That should work. I don't want this to be too crazy looking, but I think 
Because I'm using a, a tank reference, and it has more of a, uh, <clears throat> a steeper slope on it. Like, it's like that steep. But I, I like this design much better. And I think it's going to add some really cool elements to the design. So, I think I'm just going to keep it like that. So, this is where the tank's going to be... Oh, actually. This is going to be really cool. That is really good. I actually really like that. I actually think that at the back, instead of having those, I can have the wedge corners there. And that kind of looks pretty good too. Ooh. I'm going to say ooh a lot in this, <laughs> in this video. Okay, I think this is a pretty good baseline for how it's gonna look. So I think now I'm just gonna um, end the end the um, recording and then come back when it's finished, and then I'll have a painting montage for you guys. So, see so ya. Yeah. Hello again. I am back with the finished tank. It worked really well. I added a laser cannon onto it because the normal mini cannon that is small enough to fit on there is powerful enough so I decided to uh, change it to the uh, laser cannon so I'm pretty happy with this now the shape is pretty good and it looks like a tank which is good I don't want it to look like a car or something <laughs> imagine like a I'm just like a Volkswagen Jetta pulling up to the battlefield, and then it just like has a gun coming out of the top of it. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> oh my gosh, did I just discover a video idea? Okay, only the people that watch this video are gonna know what my next video is gonna be. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I added, I, or I already had this, but I have the side-to-side uh, -side feature. But I did also add a up and down cannon, so you can shoot down the little rascals in the sky. Um, uh, yeah. So, it's looking pretty good. Got it all working. And now I think I'm just gonna do a paint job. So, let's get into the montage. stealthy white design with some accents of uh, gray. Just didn't want it to be all white because it's already blinding me. Uh, I might have to get an eye test after this, but um, <laughs> I just wanted the gray accents because I didn't want it to be entirely white. Kind of just like burning your eyes if it was entirely white. So the gray accents really help with the uh, not burning your eye part. So yeah. I really like this this tank, and this is actually my first tank I've ever built, so I'm pretty happy with it. Um. Anyway, uh, uh thanks for watching. Bye. We'll see you next time.